Hey guys, so I'm here to share um, the Vintage USA kit with you guys. I'm sorry if you hear banging or screwing and all that crap because um, our ceiling fell down. So they're doing, my dad's doing work upstairs right now. I'm actually going to pull from my other account, I'm going to pull my live up. So our ceiling fell down. So let me turn this down just so I can see the chat because my phone is above me. So I can't actually see you guys like see the stuff. But let me take a sip real quick. Okay. So there's a lot of pieces. Um, there's about maybe two or 300 pieces in this, something like that. So first off, you get this, um, some of the goodies will come packaged in this um, vintage um, quiz card game, USA. It's um, the 50 United States of America, and it's like the, all the different capital, you know, it tells you the history and stuff about the, um, the cards and stuff. So it's just a little vintage box, which you can alter, turn into a shadow box or something, or just use it for storage. Um, this is, I believe about from the sixties, sixties, seventies about there. So there's that piece and that box will be wrapped with, um, actually, let me see if I have, uh, I want like a piece of black. You get a piece of black cardstock. So you can see the laces a little better. So here is this one. And I can zoom in more if need be. There you go. So there's that one. And there is about, so this will be wrapped around the box, but there is about, let's see, one, two, little over a yard and so let's go through the fabrics I'll go through the fabrics first so the next piece you get this vintage piece it's just a little scrap piece um, you can thread ribbon through the center if you want um, but there's that piece this piece is about six inches then this piece is about nine inches and it's this really pretty lace, very thick, um, really pretty. And then you will get two of these little beaded applique corners like that. So there's those and then you will get this scalloped pearl beaded piece. They're arguing upstairs, I'm sorry. <laughs> then you're gonna get two small vintage doilies. So there's crochet doily. So there's this white one. And then there's this scalloped, scalloped square almost one. Which is a little more cream. This one's like pure white. This one's a little more distressed um, then there's this silver and there's a little bit of peach in there and some darker gray um, embroidered applique rose and then this is my favorite piece this is a sequence applique and it's a long leaf branch um, really, really pretty. You can tell it's a really intense blue, totally patriotic, um, really gorgeous. And this piece is, let me see, this spans about six and a half, almost seven inches. So it's a very good size applique. Then we get into some of the vintage fabrics. So there's this piece from a P 
piece of linen. This was like a table piece or a plate, like a dish piece. It's a little curled, so, but really pretty. It has flourishes in the center, and this piece is about, let's see, 12, that's 14, six, about 16 inches. Really pretty. Um, then you're going to get some of this fabric, this floral mesh kind of vintage tablecloth lace. And again, this piece is, let's see, that's 14. About 20 inches of that. Um, then there is this vintage uh, wired um, flag ribbon. Uh, there's a lot here. Well, not a lot, but it's, let's see. Um, there's two feet here. So you can make flowers, make pockets. You know, if you're gonna make a junk journal, really great, especially if you have family in the military. And then this is a vintage, uh, or it's not really organza. I forget the name of this material. It's not, it's in between organza and satin. Um, and let's see, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, so 45 inches of that. Then there is this little um, canvas burlapy gold polka dot printed uh, pendant, which you can alter, put in a journal, whatever you want to do. So there's this piece. Then this is a hand stamped uh, vintage piece of leather. Um, so this is from a vintage handmade piece of leather and this is pure this is real leather really gorgeous love the flowers um then there's two more very vintage doilies so they're the same then there is this beautiful um fabric piece really gorgeous very dainty crocheting, very old piece. Love the flowers. Really cute page in a junk journal or on a project. Really gorgeous. So there's that. Then you get a vintage piece of the um, gingham. Is this, it's gingham, right? Yeah, gingham. You know, very U.S country primitive vintage like Civil War era and then there is also this piece of a, not really a silk but it kind of feels like it's almost like as if it's a scarf material um, and there is some like metallic threading in here um, and it's this really pretty striped fabric piece And then the last linen piece is this gorgeous, uh, that's the back, this gorgeous embroidered doily. Really, really, really gorgeous. You could turn this into a pocket by folding it in half in a junk journal or whatever you want to make, but really gorgeous. And this is about... Um, almost eight inches in diameter so really gorgeous I just love the detail in this so these are all the fabric and lace um, lace piece. Well, not all of them there's a couple trims pieces of vintage uh, trim too but so they're is you get a real big stack of those um and then i'll go into um i'll go into the ephemera in a second um let me show you these few pieces 
that are trim related. Um, this is vintage satin um, ribbon and there's about I think two yards here um, and it's a really beautiful blue. And then there are these few pieces of cording. This one's Chinese braid. This one is eight inches, really dark navy blue. Um, there's this piece that is gold with some white threading. And this piece is, let me see, 11 and a half inches. These are all vintage trims. Another piece of cording. Really, really gorgeous. Um, this one's eight and a half inches. Um, then you get this little um, jute and red wax seal. Really cute little piece for junk journal. And then this is a vintage strand of beading pearls. So it's only, they put them together, you used to tie them together. This is how you used to buy beads. They come on strands like this, they look like necklaces. And they tie them, they tie a knot here, someone threads them and then they tie a knot and then you have all the beads. So once you cut this, be aware that the beads will fall off. But this is how you buy the beads when you want to, um, um, pearlize appliques so this is um, the type of pearls these are the vintage pearls from uh, that would go on like vintage wedding dresses and things like that so you get a whole brand new strand of that which is pretty much um, two feet worth of beads so there's that piece and then let's go into the ephemera um, so first off, we have some doilies. Um, you have a red doily. Um, there's this script printed doily. This gold doily. And this gold heart doily. So those are the doilies. Then we have some collection pieces and pattern, um, pattern paper. So the paper here, we have some square pieces. These are double-sided. So you have the, the bunting and the striped, the gingham and the gold stars. This one has glitter. It's like the kind of like flower pinwheel kind of design. There's like a postage with some script stars and stripes there's this honeycomb one with some blue stars and then there's this glittery piece and this one's double-sided as well so it has the polka dots and then there's some flag different types the different types of flags and this one has a heart and then there's also another type of stripes um, this is a textured piece of cardstock it's polka dot and it's very thick and some script you are a grand old flag it's it's a um the home of the free it's a patriotic song and then you have some ephemera pieces so there's an american flag um there's this little piece here um a vintage like button um there's the circle one with the patriotic flag and then uh, not a flag that's a fl flag star and then here's one of the you know primitive country stars um this one says love and they do have some of, uh, they do have pattern their pattern paper on the back um this like country design i don't know what to really call that um sweet and then this one is a you know um like a fake postcard greetings from washington dc and then there's three tags. And these also have um, pattern paper on the back. So there's those pieces. Then there's a few other pieces here. Um, this is like a 
wallpaper material. These are actual labels, so they're they're scored to be torn and they're adhesive. Um, so you can write on them. Really cute. Um, then there's this weekly grocery list printed piece but it had like the patriotic cover the colors and the stripe and it's just really cute for a junk journal this is printed ephemera so it's not like authentic ephemera so um then there's this journaling large journaling piece it says one two three of two places to journal documented by day recorded with the polka dots um there's this piece here which has some gold foiling moments and memories um then we have some Tim Holtz pieces. Um, we have some of the vintage photos. So you have one of the um, photo strips. And then this is a 4th of, that's the back of the card, 4th of July vintage photo. A little boy saluting the flag in their little uniforms. So cute. And then this is um, some vintage patriotic paper from Tim Holtz, by Tim Holtz. So these are old news clippings, so patriotic hats and costumes, and they do have distressed paper on the back. These are different silk flags from like a catalog. Um, little fireworks, so you can cut these, fussy cut these out if you want for ephemera and things. Same thing here, you can cut these out, vintage postcards, but they're small. And that's the back of that one. Then you get this piece of mulberry paper that is embossed like alligator skin really awesome and it's like not like it's like glossy basically so really fun then you get this little glassine bag with some vintage tickets these are from indiana or in their indian tickets sorry um they're in like a bluish gray kind of so they go really well with the rest of the ephemera and then getting into some of the vintage pieces, you have a vintage Monopoly 1935 uh, Monopoly game card. Indiana, Indi yeah, Indiana Avenue, right? Am I reading that right or am I like completely going crazy? Um, and then you have a napkin, like a 4th of July napkin you can decoupage and it's the flag. So you get um, four flags out of that. Um, there's this canvas printed paper. It's really cool and textured. And it's like a stack of letters. Really pretty. You have a vintage, some vintage game money. Um, this is a vintage postcard from Miami, Florida, 1966. So, and it has a U.S. postage, everything really cute. So there's that one. This is some of the, this is um, sequin negative. So when they punch out and create sequins, this is what's left. And you can actually buy it. Um, so it's really cool to add texture to projects. I actually like this for mixed media because I'll paint mine um, either white and then spray it different colors and things. And I'll add it for texture. But really great for junk journaling and things like that but the, it's already red so it goes really well with this so there's that piece um there's this little clock ephemera piece it says family time um then we have some mulberry paper um so there's this beautiful white berry paper blue paper with um with rose petals really pretty love that one and then this one's a thicker mulberry paper and it has this silver speckling on this one side i don't know if you can see it but it's really pretty and then the other side is like super like it's more like a mic this is more like a glitter and the side is more of like a mica mist if you can see that really this would be great for like die cutting and things so there's that um we have two vintage playing cards um, this one is an acetate clear playing card. And then this is a vintage playing card from the, I think it's 50s or 60s. Um, and these are from France. Then you get 
one of this one's North Carolina you actually get one of the cards from the vintage playing game so this one's North Carolina and if you want um, um, if you don't want North Carolina if you if you are the one who purchases this and you want your own state your home state or whatever please let me know because I can um, I can do that too um, I can make I can double check to see if I have it um, so yeah and it gives you all the information about it um, it has the origin of the name when it was admitted to the Union the first governor capital major cities area and rank population state bird state flower state tree nickname a brief history famous North Carolinians a state first and the original first family of North Carolina so these cards have a lot of information on them so they're great um, now getting into some more vintage pieces this is a check to the first national bank um, from 1911 this is an authentic check and it's actually May 5th 1911 for five dollars it's endorsed and everything so there's that one then there is this is um, a bill receipt from June 1st 1933 to a telephone corporation Then this is a envelope, a postal envelope from 1980 to Fort Worth National Bank in Fort Worth, Texas. You have a vintage red bingo card from 1993. A guest check register um, there's this little um, mini little file folder isn't that adorable <laughs> like how freaking cute is that um, this is a piece from a vintage notebook then these are very very old these are from um, now I grew up collecting stamps these are from a vintage um, stamp book from the um the 60s or maybe it was it might be a little earlier than that it might be the late mid late 50s but you get two sheets from this vintage stamp collector catalog i specifically picked this one because it has the united this is all about the united states and then this one i just loved this vintage advertisement The colors kind of went with that firework paper and things and it goes with these colors i just loved it so this just shows this is a advertisement for uh, protection strips for stamps and then here's some more and this is from boston massachusetts you get a large um, shipping tag and then you get a couple different book sheets. This one is from an informational book and it says what flags say. This one obviously is the United States and the Union Jack um, flag. So I specifically picked this from that book. Um, the back has some miscellaneous things, but I specifically picked for this. Um, then there's this one. Um, large dictionary sheets um, oh there's a little um, newsprint um, envelope there's this piece here of this vintage um, I guess vintage embroidered paper this might have been another piece of mulberry paper really gorgeous and it's dry embossed and it's gold and then this is a vintage book page about Cleopatra. I apologize um, for the noise. 
if you can hear them aren't <laughs> and then this is another dictionary page just from a different type of dictionary um then this is a vintage book page and this one is about what the secret service is and does so i was like oh well the united states the president secret service ta-da so there's some information on there and then there is this vintage newsprint bag and it has some jet, um, texture paste stenciling on it with some stars so really great to go. You can make a book out of this to um, make this your, and you can flip this pocket to be on the inside, or actually this could be your closure. You can turn this into a, a book just like that and then it opens up like that. So you can turn that into a little junk journal or whatever you want, or you can alter the bag and fill it with stuff or whatever you want to do. So there is, the most of the ephemera pieces the majority of it um also to go along with the paper pieces if i come over here um you will receive these white cardstock letters that spell it usa and then there's a handmade stitch vellum rosette and it has the, you know, the um, postal um, mail kind of print to it. You get two gold leaves and they have wire so they do bend. And then you're going to get three crepe paper rosettes. So you're going to get this one, this blue one, and a white one. Then you will be getting this Tim Holtz word that says story. This is a vintage milk lid um, and it's red, red, white, and blue. Um, you will get some stamps from my personal collection. There's this one. This one's 1935 stamped. Um, this is register to vote. This one is the World's Fair 1964. Um, this one is the 50th anniversary of the U.S. Uh, Marine State uh, Reserve. This one is the flag over the White House. Um, this is Rise of the Spirit of Independence and that's when they're printing the Declaration of Independence. It's a uh, like it's the reprint of the declaration and then this is washington and this is from nebraska and it's a two cents um these are from the 30s and 40s um so there's that and then you get a pack of red rhinestones um you get this pearl spray large pearl spray you get some flowers you get this blue striped paper flower and this white fabric flower. You get this suede navy blue tassel. You get a vintage costume jewelry earring and it's metal, not plastic. You get a large gold paper clip, this white scallop chalkboard clothespin, a distress red bottle cap. This is a handmade star out of one of those, um, it's a decoupage star out of one of those napkins. You'll get a vintage red thimble. You'll get these two small applique, oops, lace applique flowers. This fuzzy white ball belt buckle. A mini compass that actually works. So this does work. It's an actual working compass. This is a vintage Monopoly game piece. It's an iron. Along with the game pieces, you get three bingo pieces. 
a vintage dice and this is a I don't know it's a letter game or scrabble game I don't know what this was to but it's a it's a letter O <laughs> and then you get a vintage domino there is a metal jingle bell this dove then you get these two beads you get a container of red, white, and blue star sequins. You get a vintage light bulb. You get a collection of vintage buttons. This one's a clear one. You get an assortment of flat back pearls, blue, gold, red, and white. You get two flat back gold stars. There's this metal brad with a doily. And then you get a few Tim Holtz pieces. You get a lobster class, small lobster class by Tim Holtz a ornate plate in gold and you also get one of these comp compass or clock pocket watch whatever you want to use it as um piece that has the little epoxy so you could put a picture you could put whatever here and it has the epoxy piece so that is all the goodies you get this kit is 35 dollars plus shipping um please let me know if you are interested and we'll talk to y'all soon bye guys